Next, we'll take a look at the NX fundamentals, orienting a view, utilizing the view triad enhancements here. So with the view triad enhancements, Siemens has uh, enhanced the view triad feature. You can now use the face selection. So if you move your cursor over one of those faces on the cube in the view triad, it's, go it's going to be presented with a pre-highlight. And you can see that in that picture, the second picture down there, it is highlighting that face, the cursor is over. Once that face is selected or highlighted, all you have to do is left, bu left button down on your mouse, and that's going to orient the part to the normal direction of that face that was chosen on that view triad. In addition to that highlighting, you also have the option to select an edge now. So there will be a pre-highlight as well on that edge. So if you move your cursor over to the edge of the cube in the view triad, when the view is perpendicular to the face of the view triad, you can also select any of the edges of the cube by moving your cursor over an edge. Once you select that edge, NX will orient the view to the plane of the current face. Next stop topic of NX Fundamentals is going to be the quick pick enhancements here. So there's a simpler interface by default. Show search and show filter are hidden by default. These can be turned on by selecting the down arrow on the top border and selecting each option. And we'll go through that process when I do the demo. Additionally, Quick Pick dialog will remember its last location. Quick Pick location has memory and will show up in the last place that the user placed the dialog when it was last accessed. So you can see it is uh, by default, this Quick Pick menu will be located in the upper right hand corner of your display now. Um, if you want to move that around, you can move that around. And the next time you use the quick pick operation, that dialog box will open in the last place that it was opened. The view triad located down in the lower left hand corner here of your display window, your graphics window. Now when you move your cursor over that view triad, that cube, you can see the faces will highlight appropriately underneath your cursor location. Once you select that face corresponding with your cursor location and that is highlighted, it will orient the part normal to that face direction. So in this case, I'm going to pick the Z face direction here, and that's going to orient to the front of my part. If I want to go ahead and orient to either the left, right, top, or bottom of this part in the view, I can go ahead and move my cursor over to the edge of that block, select the right side, and I'm now looking at the right side of my part. So it's very easy to use that new uh, orient view triad there. Very intuitive and uh, good feedback with the cursor over the cube. You can see exactly what face is highlighted now, as well as your uh, your axes and your edges when you're uh, normal to that face. You can see those edges highlight as well. So that is your view triad enhancements. Next, we'll take a look at that quick pick enhancement. So your quick pick enhancement is going to allow you to uh, select your part get that quick pick dialog. Again, I'm going to move it to the uh, default location. This is where it will show up in default when it defaults uh, when you first install your software. Uh, this new dialog box, quick pick dialog box, will not have those uh, show and show filter and show search options turned on by default. You can turn those on. Just go ahead and select those. It's going to turn those options on for you. Or you can turn those off again just by going back into that drop down and selecting the uh, check mark next to those to turn those off. Uh, so with this new quick pick, you do have a cleaner interface. And you can see it does act like the uh, traditional quick pick has always acted. If you move your cursor over one of these other parts, you can see that highlight on your screen. As soon as you select that, that option, it's going to select that in your graphics window on that part. If you do move that quick pick menu, when you're working with it, this quick pick will stay in that location from the last use of it. So if I go ahead and select uh, OK now, and then come over here, reactivate the quick pick. You can see it's going to show up in the upper left hand corner this time because I had moved it there previously. So it does have a persistent uh, memory and it will remember that too when you do a file and exit and you exit out of your NS NX session. The next time you come in, the quick pick will show up in that same location it last showed up for you. So that is the quick pick enhancement there. To note, NX remembers the settings for the following options on the quick pick show search and show filter. If you do turn those on and highlight objects, those will be maintained as well. Those are also persistent settings. So if I come in here and I come into my drop down, turn on show search and then show filter. So there's my, uh, my filter. 
on the bottom. Here's my search bar on the top. If I, if I go ahead and close out of that now, you'll also see when I go back in, those items are persistent and they are maintained in the memory of that dialog. Next, we'll take a look at those selection enhancements.